My name is Manisha Ball and I'm a breast imaging radiologist at Mass General. I've always been fascinated by science and the human body and so I decided to pursue medicine at a young age. After a long road of training, I was excited to join the faculty at Mass General in 2016. I chose Mass General because of the amazing opportunities that are available here with regard to research and clinical care and academics. I love working at an academic environment because um, it allows me to advance the field through research and also to teach medical students, residents, and fellows on a daily basis. I chose breast imaging early in my radiology training because I enjoy working directly with patients and also having opportunities to collaborate with a multidisciplinary breast cancer care team. Up to this point, there hasn't been a dedicated journal for breast imaging research and I recently um, wrote an AI review article for the journal and information that would be helpful to breast imaging radiologists in this active era of AI research. Well, I uh, got married recently and it's a tradition to wear um, red bracelets in the year following marriage. It dates back to an old, uh, old tradition when women in India would generally join their husband's household. And the idea was that in this first year of marriage, the youngest daughter-in-law would be protected from doing all of the housework by wearing this heavy jewelry. Although the times have changed um, and that family structure isn't necessarily the most common anymore, the tradition continues for good blessings um, for a you know, happy and long, long married life. Sometimes I feel the need to justify why I'm wearing so much jewelry in the clinical setting since it's not common to see that among, among physicians. But every time I share this story with anyone who asks, they're always um, really happy, happy to hear it. And um, that always leads to discussions about their own, you know, marriage traditions. And, um, and I've just learned a lot about other people's cultures and traditions through sharing my own story.